Hi guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm gonna to be making you a great Lean and Green recipe, and it's inspired by one of Philly's favorites, so stay tuned. So if you're enjoying our videos, please go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell button. So if you're enjoying Chris and I, you could go ahead and follow us on our Instagram page at Fuel Network TV for lots of behind the scenes actions, tips, pictures, all kinds of stuff that we want to share with you all. Also, my personal page, Coach Andrea Corinne. Okay, so today's recipe is a Philly cheese steak skillet. I mean, who doesn't love eating that? And you don't have to give it up either. So I'm gonna just show you a very simple recipe. You know I love simple. And it's gonna be full of flavor and delicious on top of that. So everything is laid out. This is everything we need to make this dish. So for this recipe, we are gonna be using one and a half pounds of beef. We got this at Costco. It's a great deal. I'm really excited to use this. We're gonna be using three cups of green bell peppers and a red bell pepper, half a cup of green onions, a little bit of ginger, garlic, cheese, and then our condiments. So sugar-free ketchup, low sodium, soy sauce, and Worcestershire. Try saying that three times fast. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start dicing up the vegetables and getting this dish ready. So I remember back actually growing up in my teenage years, there was a cheese steak shop in town and my best friend and I would go all the time. I mean all the time. Who doesn't love a soft roll, the meat, the cheese, the yummy vegetables, all kind of grilled and caramelized. I mean, it was just the best thing ever. So I love it that I can have something that I really, really enjoy, but without the guilt. Most importantly, I don't want that guilt. I don't want the bread. I'm not gonna miss the bread. This is gonna give me exactly what I want without feeling bloated and yucky and having all that good stuff. So I hope that you are excited to try this recipe for those reasons too. Okay, my bell peppers are sliced and put to the side. Now it's time to cut the green onions and we are using half a cup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop off the tops, the white part. So now that the top is off, I just kind of examine each one and kind of take off anything that's a little yucky. They just kind of peel right off there. You don't want that. That one's fine. This one can go just like that. Okay, same thing. It's all lined up and I'm just gonna go ahead and chop. Okay, that looks like half a cup to me. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, that was more than enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that aside. Okay, so we are moving right along here. I just wanna make sure I have everything ready to go. That way when it's time to cook, I got everything that I need, all of my ingredients ready. So we need one garlic clove and two teaspoons of fresh ginger. I'm gonna break this apart, get one garlic out of this. Okay, so I have my one garlic and what I do is I just place it down on the rounded part and smash it on the top with the knife. Okay, so it's smashed open and now I just peel off the peel, I guess, whatever that is. Okay, time to mince the garlic. Watch those fingers. Okay, it's time to use the fresh ginger now. And what I'm gonna do is just cut off a chunk and go ahead and take off the peel with the, the knife a little bit and then grate it into my bowl. Okay, another great little tip with ginger is using a spoon to get the skin off. Okay, so I have enough ginger exposed. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and grate right over the bowl. Now, ginger has a really strong taste. A little goes a long way. So when it says two teaspoons, I really don't wanna use any more than that. You either love ginger or you hate it. I want my boys to be able to eat this, so I definitely want to put the right amount in, maybe even a little less. Okay, so now that I have my vegetables and garlic and ginger taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and slice the meat. Now I don't want too thin and I don't want too thick. I really want them to cook nice and evenly. Okay, so this is exactly the thickness that I am going for here. So I'm gonna make sure that I go ahead and cut all the steak the same size. Okay, so this is top sirloin and we got this at Costco. It's a great deal and as you can tell, this is a great cut of meat. There's not a whole lot of marbling in it. It's very, very lean. I prefer this. I mean, I know fat gives um, the meat a whole lot of flavor, but I don't want griddly pieces of meat. This is a great quality of meat, perfect for this recipe. 
Okay guys, so I was minding my own business on Amazon one day and I came across this Dash product and I thought, how amazing would this be for our videos? Mostly, I'm always thinking business and how can I provide the best quality to you guys? And instead of transferring from here to the stove and back and all that kind of stuff, this little thing is gonna be amazing to help us out um, to give you guys the best kind of quality product we can. So this is the Dash Skillet, right? Yeah. Dash skillet, it's family size, it's awesome because we do have a family of five. I can't wait to get some friends over and make healthy lean and green recipes for them. You can make soups in this thing. I was just kind of reading about it. I saw a pizza recipe. You guys know I love pizza. So anyways, if you're interested in purchasing this, we will leave the link below. Okay guys, my skillet is nice and hot. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray it and add my onions to cook first. That is hot, let's turn this down. Okay, medium high heat, onions are going in. So I'm gonna cook these until they are browned up a little bit and then just transfer them back into the bowl. Okay, you just wanna keep it moving so that they don't burn. Okay, these are ready so I'm just gonna remove them. Okay, I'm gonna spray again and then add my bell peppers. So these can take the heat. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay, so these are browning up really nicely. This is exactly how you want it to cook. Okay, so bell peppers take a really long time to kind of wilt down and cook up. I have no idea why, but they just do. So if you're anything like me and like to eat right on time, you are gonna wanna give yourself plenty of time to make this recipe. Just a little heads up. Okay guys, so while the bell peppers are cooking, let's go ahead and make the sauce. So I almost forgot, sriracha is also used in the sauce and we are using three teaspoons of it. One tablespoon of soy sauce is going in next. Okay, three tablespoons of no sugar added ketchup. Okay, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce is going in. Do you guys know how to say that word? That's really a tricky one. Okay, now to mix up the sauce. Okay, yeah, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, that Worcestershire, that's some good stuff right there. And the soy sauce. Shoot, the sriracha too, and the ketchup. Okay, guys, this is gonna be so good. Okay, let's check on our bell peppers. Okay, so these are perfectly cooked. I am gonna transfer them to a foil pan. All right guys, in goes our protein. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to separate the beef because they're sticking together. I don't want that, I want them to cook evenly. Okay, so I'm just gonna season the meat with a little bit of salt and pepper. So because I did cut the beef so thin, this is cooking up really, really nicely. Just a couple of minutes. I'm flipping them over to cook evenly, and then we'll be adding everything else together. Okay, so this is just about done. What I'm gonna do is kind of move the meat aside. I'm gonna add the garlic and ginger, kind of cook it up a little bit, add the vegetables back in, the sauce, and then top it off with cheese and just kind of let it sit and melt. So with garlic, it will burn really fast, so I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna just kind of move it around, cook it up a little bit to soften, and then just keep moving along. Okay, so it is definitely time. It is super fragrant. That ginger and garlic smells so good. What I'm gonna do is just kind of um, stir it around and coat everything, and then add the vegetables. All right, guys, we are getting close. This is almost done and it smells so good. I could just eat this pan like this. I'm not kidding. This looks so good. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and add our sauce in. And let's give that a good stir. All right, guys, now the good part, the cheese. So this recipe calls for one and a half cups of provolone. I don't really know how much that is since I have slices. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do and use about maybe five or six, I'm just gonna go ahead and wanna cover the top of it. All right guys, this is already looking so amazing and the smell, oh my gosh, the smell. 
What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put the lid on for just a little bit to get that cheese um, really ooey and gooey. This is really just about done. I'm just gonna let that cheese melt and then it's gonna be time to eat. All right, let's take a look. Okay, that looks so good. I'm really not sure why that middle piece isn't melting quite yet, but I don't want the rest to burn, so I think it's time to eat. Ooh. That sauce smells so good. Oh, the cheese. Look at that cheese, it's still going. It's still going, oh, there it goes. All right, guys, so here is the final product. What do you think? I can't wait to eat this. This is a full lean, one and a half greens and all of your condiments for the day. Totally worth it. You could always add more bell pepper to this recipe to make this a full lean and green. In fact, that's what I would definitely do next time. Guys, I just wanna let you know, it doesn't take much to put a really healthy meal on the table for yourself and your loved ones. This was really easy to make just because I diced up everything ahead of time and was able to throw it all together. It really doesn't take long to stay on track with your health. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you make this recipe sometime. Please tag me in it when you do. I would love to see what you're creating at your home. So what Chris and I are really trying to do is give back to the community that gave us back our lives. So please stay tuned for our next video coming to you soon. Bye. I'm going in. Ooh, I want the perfect bite. I want cheese and a little piece of meat. That's really, really good. That sauce is amazing. The meat is super tender. I didn't get the cheese bite in there, but I'm going back in for more. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.